Yeah. This your boy King Ed the Great coming at y'all with another video. So, this further proves what I was saying last week. Steam is a publishing gangster. Because I read today that P. Diddy pays Sting $2,000 a day to clear that sample for I'm Missing You. And the payments don't end to 2053. Woo! So basically, Sting owns Diddy. <laughs> How did this even happen? I mean, come on, Puff. As much money you've been making in the 90s, you should have cleared that sample because... His era of sampling is the reason why hip-hop is hurting today, which is why the Jiggy era, as, as they put it, when he ushered on, it was a dark time. Because he used to literally take whole tracks. Listen to No Way Out. Everything is almost sampled. Blatantly sampled. It's not flipped. It's not looped. And I'm trying to figure this out. How is the CEO of Raping You Records Getting financially rich. Boy, looks to me karma came in a big way. So Biggie, so Biggie's, Biggie karma. <laughs> it looked like, okay, if you had something to do with me getting killed, you're going to pay for this tribute. Boy, that spiritual karma is crazy. But a lot of people are in the art war about this, about, man, why Sting do puff like that? Man, let me tell y'all something. Puff literally took the man's melody, he took his chorus, he took his hook, and the beat. And see, if y'all understand the business, Sting had the suit because let's say this. If he let Puffy slide, then you have other people coming in after that sample on the same record. And Sting wants to sue them. And that even better be a bigger record. And then the, and the judge is going to be like, well, you should have sued Puffy the first time. I mean, people got to understand, this is the music business. It's cutthroat. And people were, were like, well, Puffy was dancing with Sting. Well, yeah. I mean, shoot, if, he pay, if a man paying me $2,000 a day, I stand on stage with him too and watch him dance. So, this is where it stands right now. Biz Marquis had to learn the hard way. Eminem had to learn the hard way with the High My Name Is sample. He don't get a dime from that. But luckily, Dr. Dre, he saw enough talent in him to where he's like, okay, we can make even bigger records. We don't need to really depend on that one. Peter Guns and um, Lord Tariq found out the hard way about sampling these certain records. So y'all better get these labels to clear y'all records, man. Because y'all going to be looking sick like Puff is. So let me know what you guys think. This is King Eric signing out. Holla back at it.